And welcome back. A South County institution is shutting its doors as its owners look forward to the next phase of life after a job well done. So many have enjoyed a Narragansett Jewels elegant cuisine and atmosphere over the years. It opened Mother's Day 1984, quite fitting as it is a place where family rules. Those sounds, those sights will soon be no more in Vasilios Caracas's kitchen. It is overwhelming. What else could one say after a stellar 30-year run? It certainly has been that for Basils of Narragansett serving dinner for the final time Saturday, and it is not going quietly. The place has been packed. They want to come one more time, uh, have one more duck, one more frog legs, whatever they used to eat all those years. Of course, Basils is a business in that it makes money, it has a payroll, but that's about where it ends. It's family from there on out. We know everybody by name. We know everybody, what are they drinking, what are they eating. I didn't realize the impact that we had on so many people. So it's, it's a little tough. Vasilios' wife, Kathy, ran the house. After three decades, she could write a book on hospitality with a personal touch. It's almost a throwaway question whether Basil's has been at the center of the Caracas' lives, those of their sons, now grown. Absolutely. Of course it is. Uh, <clears throat> Monday, Holy Day Monday, the phone at home. Before we got the second phone line, we had to answer our own phone. Hello, Basil's. Now in retirement, Vasilios has a new priority, a new generation of foodie, perhaps. And I feel she's going to miss a lot of good, good meals from here. And if you haven't already guessed from the owner's last name, it is in fact the family of our very own sports director, Yanni Caracas, and we wish them and the Basils team all the best.